Hey, what's up YouTube? It's B. I'm coming at you guys today because I was looking at the video that I did a few days ago um, about my grocery haul. Now, if you haven't seen that, uh, click right here and I'll put a, uh, a link for you to watch that video. Um, I realized that I kind of left you guys hanging because, you know, I took you shopping with me and showed you what I do when, when I need to eat really, really well. Um, and I didn't really show you what happens after that because getting the food in the refrigerator is, is only part of the battle. Um, there's that thing that I talk about or I have talked about a long time and I think this is kind of where we're leading up to with this whole nutrition thing is, um, is a meal plan. You know, you got to have a plan. Now, if you go back and look at that video, you'll see at the very end that everything was portioned out and what I did is I used the serving sizes on the, the information labels on the back. And I had everything portioned out. So if it's a four ounce portion, I put a four ounce portion. If it's a half a cup portion, then I put it in a half a cup container. And that way I know exactly what the nutritional, nutritional information is for any given item. Now, the thing that you want to want to do with that is you're going to want to write that down. Now let me show you what I've got here. I've got my notebook. I'm not doing a lot of editing or anything fancy today. Um, just going to kind of show you what what I've got. Now this is what I've got here. It says portions at the top and the date that I went shopping. Now I got a couple of different things here. You'll see first of all like there's the deli turkey. It's a five ounce portion and the cottage cheese and a half a cup portion. Um, this is the Greek yogurt per tablespoon because that's how I'm going to use the Greek yogurt is, is per per tablespoon. I'm not really going to eat that whole plain Greek yogurt. Um, this is salsa, and this is uh, two tablespoons, which is what the serving size is. Uh, oh, this this here. If you look at the Greek yogurt label, I don't have it with me. I threw it away already. But it has the information for the entire container. So you kind of have to take it out and do a little measurement and do a little dividing to get this to get this number. Um, and we just go down the list. Now, this is chicken and beans. I know I kind of abbreviated it there because this is really for me. And a half of, cup, half of a cup serving. Um, I'll show you how I came to this conclusion here in a minute. Uh, there's the New York strip, uh, turkey tenderloin, um, the Greek yogurt. That's the, f the fruit flavored stuff that I would actually eat. And uh, this is my BB stove, my tea. It's a little different than the one you get at Starbucks. And uh, this is actually the Starbucks tea me stove. This is a list of everything that I plan on eating this week. That way when I eat something, I just go look at these columns and I can immediately see what the protein, this is the protein, and what the calories is. Now, let's go back to this chicken thing. Let me see if I can find where I did that. Ah, here it is. Now, in that chicken slash bean combination thing, I had to do a little math. Now, this is the fat-free beans, all right, one can. And this is the chicken that came in the can. And I have two cans there. Six servings or, or uh, 12 tablespoons of salsa, right? And uh, I was going to put Greek yogurt in there, but I decided against that, so I didn't. Now, what you do is you have to figure out what each each of those servings is. Now, the, the refried beans is going to give you the information for a serving. You have to figure out what's in the entire can. It takes a little bit of math. And then the same thing with the chicken and with the salsa. And you get all those numbers, and I'm really interested only in the the calories total and the protein. And the reason being is, if you remember when we went shopping... Um, I made sure that all my protein sources were very lean, not a whole lot of carbohydrates, not a whole lot of sugar, not a whole lot of fat, and I don't have to worry about how many grams of fat or how many carbs are in what I'm eating because I made sure when I put it in the basket, I didn't have any of that stuff. All right. Now, if we were doing something a little more precise, a little more fine-tuned, then yeah, we'd want to track our carbohydrates and our sugar and our, our, uh, our fat grams and our calories from fat. But uh, this week, and again, I'm going to refer back to that video, um, I was really concerned with just eating lean protein and letting everything else fall into place. So, um, so that's what we did. And that's why you won't see in any of these calculations, at least for this week's plan and next week's plan, um, you won't see any mention of, of fat or carbohydrates because we cut those out completely. So we got our math. We added up our calories, added up our, our protein, and uh, you can see that uh, in this, for, for this, it was 688 calories and 68 grams of protein total. Now, the next thing you have to do is portion it out. Now, I portioned it out into four half cup containers. All right, and you can see here, one half cup containers. And then you just take your totals divided by four, and it's 172 and 17 grams of protein. And that's all there is to it. 
that's how I came, whoa, dropping the phone here. That's how I came to that conclusion. So now that you know exactly what everything that you plan on eating for a week is going to be, you know, calories and, and, and protein-wise, the next thing you do is to devise a plan. Now, for me, this is really simple. And I guess this is kind of why I chose this week to, to do this because my eating is going to be really, really simple. Um, but this is an example of what a meal plan would look like, all right? This is Thursday's meal plan. And you can see I plan on eating a, uh, uh, my own tea in the morning, a cup of yogurt when I get to work, um, a, ch a cup of the, or half a cup of chicken and beans, and that's uh, usually right, right before lunch, around 11 o'clock. And then I'll eat uh, cottage cheese and deli turkey in the afternoon, about an hour before I go work out, and then a New York strip in the evening. Now, what I would do is if I ate, if I had this B misto in the morning, I'd come over here and I'd write whatever the calories were for that. And I just flip back to my portions chart and I've got it all written right here. See, let me see if I can find uh, something that I've already done for the day. Here we go. So this was Wednesday. Uh, and you can see I had. Uh, Eggs, which was not on the list. This was before I went shopping. Um, turkey sausage and cottage cheese. And there we go. The calories and the uh, protein. Total it up at the end of the day. And there we go. You can see that I had 808 calories, 82.3 grams of protein. And uh, this was my workout I put in here also. Um, this is water. Uh, it's very important you keep track of your water. This is what I've got this little tick mark here for. I have a container. Let me see if I can find it. I may even have it in here. There you go. It's right there. It's my bicycle container. It's, uh, it's 24 ounces of water. And every time I drink that thing, I put a little tick mark in my book. This book stays with me all the time. And uh, then there you go. And then at the end of the day, I just add them up times 24. And that's how much water I've had for the day. So when I do have to log my food, because I've told you guys before, I hate logging food. But when I do, that's how I do it. You get everything organized at the beginning of the week, get your plan laid out, and then all you have to do is write it down when you eat it. If you don't eat it, or if you only eat half of it, write that in there. Um, but then keep it in something small, something easy to carry around like this, and that's all there is to it. It's super, super simple if you just stay organized. That's the key, is to keep everything organized and to, to take care of things um, at the beginning of the week. That way you're not scrambling to do them at the end of the week. So, that's meal planning tips from B. I uh, hope you guys got something out of this. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, shoot me an email, leave me a comment. Um, I will talk to you guys manana, because I'm still doing my uh, workout check-ins. And uh, yeah, so that's it. Take care, guys. Bye.